To demonstrate diffusion in liquids, we can take a test tube of water and some food coloring. I have some red food coloring here. And we can put a drop of the food coloring into the bottom of the test tube using a pipette. So what I'll do is just draw up a little bit of the food coloring. like that, into my pipette, and then drop that into the bottom, deliver to the bottom of the test tube, very carefully, so that we don't get a lot of mixing. Most of the food coloring is now in the bottom. There's a little bit of food coloring that will get into the rest of the water column. But you can see that the largest amount is at the bottom. We can then let that stand in a test tube stand, let it stand overnight, and see how far the color has actually diffused. And you'll be amazed at how slow the diffusion actually is in a liquid. It can take several days for the food coloring to diffuse throughout the test tube so that we have a uniform color throughout. So we'll let that stand. Here's the test tube after about two hours. And notice how little the food coloring at the bottom of the test tube is actually diffused. Most of it is still near the bottom. After 16 hours, you can see that the diffusion has only gone about a centimeter and a half or so. So you can see from this simple demonstration that diffusion in a liquid occurs rather slowly. Now the molecules are moving around rapidly, but it takes time for the food coloring to move uniformly throughout the